celebrate all of it, but every time we see young people come in, because there are so many things and so many places they could have been this morning, we thank God for them. And we just want, I know that sometimes the young men don't like a whole lot of extra stuff, but we want them to know that we love them and, we come, and we're glad that they're here this morning. Amen. And we just thank God that God is covering them and keeping them, even in the midst of all of the turmoil and confusion, that God is a keeper. Brothers and sisters, we are truly grateful to the Lord. Uh, we, we know that we're starting a little bit uh, behind schedule in our morning worship, but we had a awesome Sunday school lesson that caused us to be mindful to thank God. In the midst of it all, we do not apologize for starting a little bit late because we spent the time to say thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and every one of your benefits and all the things that you continue to do. Lord, you just continue to protect us. You, you let, uh, let our loved ones, Lord, be able to stay and continue to do what they have to be done. And we are so grateful, Lord, even in the midst of those that are going through trials and tests, that, Lord, you're keeping them and you're blessing them. Yeah. And so we are just internally grateful for all that he has done. As we come together this morning, I'm going to ask Minister Wheeler if she would lead us in prayer. We are, we are just grateful to the Lord for, for everything that he is doing. He, he, he's doing mighty works. Amen. Mighty all the works of God's hands. Mighty. We are, we are, we are mighty. excited also that uh, this morning mighty. after the choir have blessed us with our song selection. Mighty. That we do have our very own Elder Q that will come and declare the word of the Lord this morning. We're excited about what God is going to say. And we ask God that he would have his way. Uh, our very own uh, Reverend Johnson is, is in is headed to Whiteville this morning. And we pray that God will use him mightily in service as he will go down and help in the pastor's anniversary. And we pray God's blessings upon that service also that God will have his way. We want to thank God for the great speed this morning. Thank God for our ushers who are in the house of the Lord. We thank God for our musicians, every one of our ministers and deacons, and everybody in your respective places. Father, it is in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. That you will set an atmosphere in this place today. Holy, holy, holy. That miracles will happen. Yeah, Lord. That, Lord, you will check. And you would change our attitude through the word of God. Yes, Lord. Help us to be no more longer I, but you, Lord, that lives on the inside of us. The scripture said there remained a rest. rest. Help us to realize, Lord God, that you sent your son, Jesus, yeah. to complete yeah. what needed to be complete. And as reading in the scripture, he said, while he was hanging on the cross, he declared, it is finished. Help us, Lord God, to cease from our labor and enter into your rest, God. My God, my God. Help us to stop trying to worry about how we're going to do and how we're going to figure it out, how we're going to change things. How are we going to change this, that, and the other? And help us to rest and trust you that you got the master plan. Anoint this praise team, God. Anoint our musicians today, God. As they will sing, God, it will, it will pierce the heart of the heart hearted. It will change the mind of those that have a mindset that they're going to not change. But I thank you today, God, for change is already happening now. We stand in agreement this morning, God, with what heaven is already doing. Let it be done in earth. We glorify you right now, God. And Lord God, we came this morning with expectation. Knowing that you have begun a good work in us, we'll bring that work to completion. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I will read scripture and then Minister Wheeler will come and lead us in 
our morning prayer. Book of Psalms. 100. When you found it, just read along with me if you want to, or just let me do it if you want. It says, Make a trough of noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Yes. That's what we talked about this morning. Yes. And into his court with praise. Yes. Be thankful unto him yes. and bless his name. Bless For the Lord is good. Yes, is. His mercy is everlasting. Yes. His truth endure to all generations. Yes. It is just, it's just a command to tell God thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Minister Wheeler is going to come and lead us in prayer. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Almighty, merciful and gracious God. We worship you, Father. We honor you. We give you glory because you're worthy. You're worthy of the glory, of the honor, of the praise from your children. It's do you from us. We're so grateful. We're so grateful. With grateful hearts, Lord, we come before you this morning. Grateful hearts. Grateful hearts. Thank you for how you've brought us through this week. Yes, through many dangers, toils, and snares. Thank you, Lord. you are a protector. Yes, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you for how you have provided for us. You, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for how you ministered to us. When we were down and you came in confident. Thank you. And brought us to another place. Brought us to another place in the Lord where we can say thank you again, Father. We ask you this morning, Father God, through your Holy Spirit, if there's any that is bowed down in your house, that are listening, that are watching, Holy Spirit, as only you can do, enter into their hearts and minds and bring the comfort, bring the guidance that they need. And we ask it in Jesus' name, Father, and we thank you. Thank you, Father, for not only providing, but thank you for your comfort through your Holy Spirit, for walking with us through the day, and at night for laying us down to sleep, and Lord, you ministered to us even in our sleep. We can awake in the morning and raise holy hands to you and say thank you. Let your kingdom come, Father. And let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we pray for those who don't know Jesus yet as Savior and Lord of their lives. Quicken that heart and mind. Stir it up. So they can hear your call to salvation. Stir it up this morning, Lord God. As we touch and agree. Those who don't know Jesus. Let them hear. And let them answer your call. Let them accept Jesus Christ. As Savior and Lord of their lives. In Jesus' name, we pray and we thank you. We pray for those, Father God, who backslid from you. Let them remember you 
as you did the prodigal son in their relationship with you before. And let them turn their hearts and minds back to you again to love you and obey you. And we thank you and we praise you for it. Pray for us, Father God, your sons and daughters. As we grow in your grace and in your favor. Guide us, instruct us, keep us until Christ be formed in us. Until we are in your perfect will for us, Father. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you for it. We pray for miracles. Hallelujah. Thank you for the miracles that you've already done in our bodies, Lord God. That you've already performed in our bodies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for healing my thyroids and my lungs. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Because they said I wouldn't be able to speak nor sing. But God Almighty. Lord of glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Sicknesses, diseases, infirmities that are destroying the health of our bodies, Father. You are the same God. You still perform miracles. And we're asking for miracles this morning. We're touching and agreeing with you, Father, because this is your will concerning us. And we thank you and praise you for it. We commit this service. We commit the man of God who's bringing the message. We commit the musicians, the singers. We commit everybody that is in your house this morning and those that are listening and watching. We commit it all into your hands, Lord. Let it be to your glory, your honor, your praise. Let us do it in the spirit of the Most High God, the only true God and the only living God, whose name alone is Jehovah. And we thank you and we praise you this morning, my God, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
can sing along with us. You can sing as loud as you want yeah. to in your house. Yeah. Ain't nobody know if you're off key or off key or whatever. Even in this yeah. building, if you want to clap your hands and Amen. sing Amen. along with us and give God your praise and glory. If you don't know the song, you can vote. Amen. 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 But we want, we want you to, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate Jesus in this place. And after the choir has blessed us or the yeah. praise team has blessed us with the song selection, Thank you. then Elder Q is going to come and declare to us what God has given he didn't, he's not coming to try to preach us happy. No. We ought to have joy on the inside of us. Amen. And what he say ought to get from Amen. there, and it ought to cause praise to break forth. Yeah. In place to break forth. So, come on, praise team. Let's move on in and flow on in here. And after then, we're going to receive the word of God. Thank you, Lord. Lord.
his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And I want to talk to you about a topic the Lord gave me while I was recently in pain. I thank God that I got out of it. I don't know how I think. I had stones, kidney stones, and they were just giving me a hard time. I, I couldn't sleep at night for the pain. And then, I, you know, I love sleep, and I sleep good, but I couldn't sleep at all. I mean, just pain. Anybody ever been in pain all night long? Yeah, okay, I got a few witnesses here. Hey Amen. And it's not fun. Hey Amen. You just you just can't sleep. You roll on one side, you roll on the other, and, and it just the pain won't go away. And if anybody ever had kidney stones, you know it's a painful thing. And so I was there just saying all kind of stuff. And I, I was even talking like Joe sometimes, saying, Why me, Lord? You yeah. know? <laughs> and God quickly said, Why not you? Amen. <laughs> but 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 I, I had all those thoughts going, why me, Lord? And, and I couldn't sleep, and Sister Q was there snoring away. She don't snore, I'm sorry. But she was sleeping. <laughs> she was sleeping away. And, and, and I, could, I was saying, my goodness, I'm the only one up, and I can't sleep. And, and the pills I took don't work. And my God, I was just, I was just all messed up. But, you know, in all of that, the Lord one time whispered to me somehow. He said, in the night, in the dark, he said, amen, rejoice through the tears. I heard those words, Pastor. Rejoice through the tears. Yeah. And, and I didn't want to forget them, so I turned the light on and wrote them down. Because yeah. I knew it was God. Yeah. And you know, this was the first time, this was the third pastor. There's something strange about Pastor A. Before he asked me to preach, God gave me the message. Yeah. And then I said, okay, I'll go. <laughs> Gladly, because while I was there in the dark, and then the Lord spoke to me and said, Rejoice through tears. Yeah. And I said, wow. You know, you know, we say, wow, that is really something. Yeah. And so I wrote it down. Yeah. And, and I said, I don't know when I would preach it, but I wrote it down. Yeah. Amen. And so I wrote that today. And I want you to remember this subject today. It may not be long, but it's going to be amen, something for you to remember. Rejoice through tears. And it seems like trouble always comes. My, my sister-in-law was going to a, a baby shower in Georgia yesterday. And, 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 and she was on her way there. And she was the last one there. Everybody was wondering, where is she? Where is she? she, she she's not here. And come to find out that she was on the way there and got sick and winded up in the hospital in Georgia. You never know when trouble is coming. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, so you, you just got to uh, know that trouble is coming. In, and you got to realize that you can't backslide on trouble. Oh, glory to God. You can't stop going to church because of trouble. But you got to learn how to rejoice even in trouble. It's a hard thing, but it's the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To me, King David said, I bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Job said it even better. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Now that's good, amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Though he slay me, no matter what he does to me, I am going to trust him, said Job. Sometimes you have to go through anyhow. Jesus said it even greater. He said, Blessed are you when men shall revile you and speak all manner of evil against you. For my sake, he said, Rejoice. Wow, how are you supposed to rejoice when men are talking about you and bringing you down like a dog? But he said, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Not only glad. Jesus didn't say, Just be glad. He said, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Because he said, great is your reward in heaven. Amen. So David made it up in his mind to bless the Lord at all times. And his praise continually be in his mouth. David was a man after God's own heart. He was a sweet psalmist. He was one that God loved. Praise the Lord. But we all know about David's sin. I don't think there's anybody in here that don't know about David's great sin. Amen. He fell to the flesh. Yes. Yes. Amen. He just took down and fell all the way. Yes. Committed adultery. Yes. And 
then the Bible says he committed murder also. Because he fixed it so that the man that was uh, the woman's wife, that she was wife, would die. So it's as if you pull the trigger yourself. So he killed that man. He was an adulterer, which you should die for. And he was a man killer, which you will also die for. Praise God. Uh, but God had mercy on me. Oh, hallelujah. He should have been dead. Yeah, by right, he should have been dead. Because when you commit adultery, you will die in the Old Testament. When you kill somebody, you will die in the Old Testament. So he should have been dead. He should, God should have killed him. But he did not do that. And then he said, he sent a messenger. He sent a prophet by the name of that Nathan. Amen. To speak to David. Because God wanted to have mercy on him. And so Nathan came and spoke to him. Amen. Gave him a little parable. You all know the parable. Amen. And when he was through, Amen. David said, that man should be killed. And Nathan looked at him and said, you know what? You are that man. David knew he had to die. But the Nathan said, you're the man. And so guess what David did? He showed you and me how to get back with God. I don't know if anybody here has gone away from God. But David showed us how to get back with God. Hallelujah. What he did was repent. That's all you have to do to get back with God. Repent. Praise God. And I love the way he repented. I want you to hear these words because you might need them. I don't know. And then another day was cry. First he said, have mercy on me, O God. My Savior. Show me your love and kindness. Blot out my transgressions. I'm trying to show you how to get back with God. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Oh God, hallelujah. That means you got to uh, accept that you did wrong. Cleanse me from my sin. Oh my God, God has a way of cleaning you from whatever you think you need cleaning up. Then this is important. I acknowledge my transgressions. Now you got to tell God I did wrong. Stop saying you didn't do nothing wrong. Stop saying you're good enough. Stop saying you go to church. Stop saying you get money in church. Amen. You have transgressed the, 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 the way of God. And you have to admit it. Amen. I acknowledge my transgression. I've sinned against you. Oh, what a, what a repentance. You, you need to learn some of this. I've done the evil while you was looking. Amen. You didn't do it. Was in the dark, but God was in the dark too. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. You, you thought you was hiding, but you weren't hiding nothing. Amen. He said, I'll bring it out like it's daylight. Amen. Praise God. You can do something in the dark all you want. But he said, I did it while you was looking. Oh, my God. He said, Praise me with his love, and I'll be clean. See, you gotta want to be clean again. Now, if you don't care about to be clean, then you stay where you are. Yeah. But if you want to be clean again, you better tell the Lord, praise me, Lord. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Yeah. My God, my God. Yeah. And then he says something even more powerful. Create in me a clean heart. Yeah. Hallelujah. And renew a right spirit within me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Then the word is saying, he said, of course, to take not my, the Holy Spirit from me. What a repentance he did. I mean, what a repentance. Yes, I thank God. I mean, he did a great sin. He should have, he should have been killed. But he went on to with God and talk with God. You ought to be glad you have a God that will listen to you. Amen. No, no matter what you've done. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. No matter what you've done, you better thank God you have a God that will listen to you. Yes. Hallelujah. And if you say it from your heart, He will do something about it. Yes. Hallelujah. He will pick you up. How many know He will pick you up? Anybody ever been down? Anybody ever? Anybody ever backslid? Amen. He will pick you up and turn you around, stand you up, and say, Now you can go ahead. You can make it. You can make it. Stop listening to the devil. You can make it. Hallelujah. 
because I didn't do you. They have got renewed. Praise the Lord that he, he escaped death. Yes. Amen. He escaped death himself. Yes. But I want you to consider, amen, that though he escaped death, and though God had forgiven him, the prophet went on to tell him, the Lord has forgiven you. But the sword yes. shall never depart yes. from your house. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why I'm going to backslide because something's going to happen. God will forgive you and yet he'll you know, show you who he is. Yes. He said, God has forgiven you, David, but the sword, oh, hallelujah, shall never depart from your house. And David had already said, I will bless the Lord at all times. But trouble was on his way. Hallelujah. Trouble was coming. Thank you, Jesus. Because you can't get away with sin. Somewhere, you're going to pay for something. So trouble began in, in, in David's house. That Sheba had a baby. And the baby was sick. And David was terribly sad about it. And he was on his knees. He wouldn't let nobody feed him. He wouldn't let nobody console him. He was crying for that baby. Hallelujah. But you know what? God wasn't listening to him. The Lord turned his face on him. And the Bible says that the baby died. Hallelujah. But you know what David did after the baby died? He got up. He cleaned himself. Yes. He shaved. Yes. He told the servant, bring me some food. Yes. He said, I'm ready to go. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Because you see, we had to bless the Lord at all times. Yes. And then when they were confused, they said, wait a minute, David. Uh, when the baby was sick, you were sad and you wouldn't eat. And you wouldn't even do anything. And now that he died, Knock you out. 
But you know, sometimes you got to sit back and let things go on. Yeah. Look to the Lord. Oh, yes. Let him work it out. Yes. I refuse to stop sleeping because of that. Oh. I'm going to have peace. I'm going to have joy. Yeah. I'm going to the house of God. Sometimes we don't go to the house of God because little things happen. No, I'm going to I will bless the Lord at all 
all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So the rebellion took place and Absalom died. Amen. And finally, at Ziklag, and I'm almost through, see, David went to live with the enemy because Saul was after him. And so he went to live with the enemy, the Philistines. And, and he thought he was safe there, and he was safe because Amen Saul was not going over to the Philistines' territory. So he was safe there. But what happened there was he had a place called Ziklag where they lived and all of his family. And when he went out one time to battle, amen, uh, with the Philistines, yeah. the Philistines said, one of them said, wait a minute, we, he can't go with us. Because when David goes with us and we're fighting, he's going to fight against us. Don't forget that he's an Israelite. So they sent David back home to Ziklag. At Ziklag, my God, my God, the sword shall not depart from your house. His town was burned down. His wives and his sons were taken away. Everything was taken away. And David again, and, and the Bible said they cried until they couldn't cry no more. Can you imagine losing everything you ever had? I can imagine the people in that hurricane last week. Some of them lost everything they ever had. It must be terrible. I personally don't know how that feels, but that must have been terrible. For you to have a home, a rod, and cars, and, and television, and all of that stuff gone in one day. Can you imagine yourself? What would you do? These men cried like babies. The Bible said they cried till they couldn't cry no more. Because they lost everything. But David said, you remember he had said, I will bless the Lord at all times. So he said, give me the ephod. We're going to seek God. We're going to seek God on this. <laughs> We're going to see what God has to do with all this. Amen. And can you imagine him asking God, should we go after them? That's when you know, you know you're a man of God. I mean, you don't even have to think about going after them. Somebody just took your wife and your son and your dog and everything you got and, and you don't think about going after them? Man, you get all the guns you got and you after them. Isn't that right? <laughs> you, you going after them, but not if you're a man of God. Not if you're David. David asked God, should I pursue? child of God. Because God returned the answer and said yes. yes. And not only did he pursue, yes. but you're going to retrieve all oh, yes. that the enemy has taken. Oh, how good it is to lean on the Lord. He will bless you abundantly. He will bless you and then he'll bless you. And David went on, praying God again to pursue everything. And he got everything back that he had been robbed of. Hallelujah. If I don't tell you anything else at all, in the Holy Ghost, I'm telling you what he told me that night. Rejoice through your tears. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how hard you think it is. I don't care if you feel like nobody else is going through it but you.
I don't ever want to get up and preach. I don't ever want to get up and sing. I don't ever want to get up and... I just want to go to church because it feels good. But you haven't really given your heart to the Lord. When you give your heart to the Lord, He puts something in you that just wants to go on. I want to go on. There's some young men even sitting in here that could be up here preaching. But they haven't truly, fully given their whole everything to God. When you do that, God needs young men. Come on, God needs young men to keep this thing going.
I heard the pastor say this morning that Baptist churches have a way with them and the spirit the way with them. No, we don't have to be that way. <laughs> Baptist, Baptist is the denomination. People that know God and love God. I love Minister Stewart. Minister Willow, I love Minister Willow because she's she's a praiser. She she'll come in and praise God all the time. Hallelujah. You can't tell her she's Baptist, Methodist, AME, whatever. Because she just praise God. That's all that's about. Hallelujah. I used to think when I was in New York, yeah, Baptist, and they showed it to Baptist pastors were like this, you know. I don't make funny. I mean, that they prayed with the women, and it was true. Some of them did. You know, they were just messed up. They broke up the church. They had to have five and six pastors. Baptist church, I'm talking about. But when they came to Shiloh, I see a man of God. Oh, yeah. I loved his wife. Yeah. And he didn't run around with nobody. Yeah. A true man of God. Yeah. He was a man of God. It's a general, I don't know, I'm going to join your church, I guess, but I don't know, but I was glad that I did. Because we have holiness. He says, Baptists don't have holiness. Holiness is in here, and it's preached in here. Whether you go in it or not, it's preached in here. And I love Pastor Pittman for that. Amen. And I love Shiloh for that. There's work to be done here, but hey, here we are. Hallelujah. I need you to come up for prayer today. Come on up for prayer, Shiloh. Come on. All of y'all that will. God is good. Some of you might have tears today. But God will give you joy. Rejoice. Come on. Come on. I want my brother to come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't stay back there. Come on. My brother to back. Come on. Come on to the front. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me pray for you. Hallelujah. Jesus, somebody make some noise in here.
sister bless her body in the name of Jesus let every tear oh God be accounted for bless her mightily remember my sister Lord touch her heart touch her mind touch her body every problem Lord that makes her cry Lord give her all about it do it today hallelujah do it today Lord remember her Lord my God bless her Lord as a prayer warrior bless her Lord as one that you know all about, Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Cry every tear, Lord. Walk, walk with the Lord. As only you can. Remember my brother, Lord, who comes every week, Lord. Bless him, oh God. Help him to go through this, Lord. Through this, oh God, which he might be going through right now. In the name of Jesus. My God, let him go forth and seek you as never before. For you have a word for him, Lord. The devil don't like it. He's trying to stop him all kind of ways, Lord. But you know all about him. You know all about him, Lord. Maybe this lesson is just for him, Lord. My God, through the tears, you need to rejoice and you need to seek God. And let him work it out in your life. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sister. Touch her, Lord. Touch her heart, Lord. She is a, 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 a praiser, Lord. Let him not stop praising you, Lord. Hallelujah. And let him go forth. In you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Touch your sister today. Bless the sister William, Lord. Look on him, Lord. Let him continue to do work for you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I talk about God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Get in those skill in your hand. That's all. Amen. Lord, I thank you for my brother, Lord. I thank you, man. Father, you have a word for him, Lord. You, you have more than just an instrument for him, Lord. You, you are going to move in his life, Lord. Continue to finish up, oh Lord, what he has to do, Lord. And let him, oh God, be a vessel for you. In the name of Jesus. Let him be your vessel, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. Amen. And God bless you. God bless you. You can go back. Praise him, God. Come on. Let me hear some praise. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Thank you. To declare the word of the Lord. So he'll try to do whatever he can to do. But he's a liar and there's no truth in him. And in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that you would touch Elder from the crown of his head to the soles of his head. Pour back to him the very virtue that was poured out. Thank you, Lord God, for using this, this man of God in this vessel. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. That he had to go through the sermon to yes. preach the sermon. Yes. Yes. That even through the tears, God, yes. we'll still yet bless your name. Yes. And I just thank you that we've been made to for the night. But joy will come in the morning. Yes. And I want to thank you that it is morning. Yeah. And we bless in your name today. Hallelujah. Let's thank God again for the man of God, the word of God. For his his word that God has placed in his heart. And he delivered it. Now, if we don't receive it, it's not on him. We have to answer. For the word that was given. I want to thank God again for each one of you. And at this time, we're going to not give way. We're not going to put it in the way. We're going to make sure we get it right where it needs to be. Because giving is a ministry. Yes, giving is a part of our duty to, to, to the Lord as far as to give. And he don't expect us to give something that he can give to us first. Amen. And so we ask our ushers that they will come now and ask them you if we prepare a new yes. We know that if you don't yeah. have it, you can't give it. That's right. But God will bless yeah. us and be able to give what needs to be given. Yes. So it's in the usher's hands, and we will follow uh, their, their lead. <laughs>
Uh, before we close our service this morning, there are a few service announcements that will be made. Some are up on the board, uh, but I did have a couple. Uh, during our, our last business meeting, we uh, discussed uh, preparing or putting out a newsletter, and I want to thank God for uh, Brother William sharing that, and then uh, Sister Louise seeing the vision of taking it and running with it. What good is it to have a vision and take it and then run with it? So we want to thank God for uh, just a, a, a word that went out to say, let's try doing a newsletter. So we do have a newsletter that has been produced uh, with nice fall colors on them and all of the wonderful pictures. We even have a, uh, on, the, on the second page, we have candles for the birthday. And so we just thank God. I, I am I am super proud of the uh, newsletter. Uh, they will be uh, sending it to those that are shut in so that they will stay abreast of everything that's going on at Shiloh from our, our calendar of events to things that, that are going on. And just to encourage to stay connected to the ministry even when you can't come. Uh, and we just pray, God, that, he, that the Lord will touch their bodies and strengthen them that they might be able to come back into the house of the Lord. But this is a way of us connecting. Something, is, something really simple, but uh, thank God for somebody having the insight to share that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sister Louise. Thank you, Sister Louise, for the work. Uh, uh, we are we're truly thankful for that. Uh, I thank you. I think we have a few more copies for those of you that might want to take one with you and pass along or, or read it for yourself. But you're here and connected, but if you want one, they are really fall and festive, and we thank God for it when it used to helping us to stay connected. Uh, the second announcement that we do have is, is that um, our very own elder Vincent Q is going to be celebrating birthday. Uh, this month, amen, and he, and he told you today, so I won't be getting in trouble by sharing the days, so, so he will be 80. Uh, so he, I pray to God that God will speak to me that when I get to be 80, I'll be preaching as hard as he is, Lord have mercy, I, and that I'll be strong in it and everything. I, 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 I believe in God that if he did it well, he'll give me that same grace, and I thank God. But the, uh, they're going to have a celebration. This family is going to celebrate this man of God. Yeah. And the place is going to be New Beginnings on 3120 Alex Trash Drive in Castle Hay. Mm -hmm. The date is November the 5th, yeah. 2022, from 1 to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Please be on time. Yeah. You know how we do things. Yeah. We show up at, at, at 4 o'clock and the service is almost done. Amen. Y'all don't get mad with me. I'm just telling the truth. I even I was even late myself this morning, so I have to I have to ask God to help me too. Amen. Amen. Uh, they're gonna have music. There's gonna be there's gonna be some music going on. To, is it all right? Man? Yes. Uh, Shiloh MBC Choir is gonna be singing. The Heavenly Voice is gonna be singing. Uh, Brother Tony, I don't think it's Brother Tony here, but maybe he is. Uh, is gonna be doing a solo. And Mason Burns Baptist praise team. Amen. So I don't know, Brother Talk might be ready for school. Uh, they're going to be a, vis uh, a video presentation. And uh, the dress is semi formal or church dress wear. So uh, they're inviting you, the church family, to come over and help us celebrate Elder and 80 blessed years that the Lord has blessed us. And we want to celebrate also. Uh, on our board, we had uh, several other people that are celebrating birthday this this month. Uh, Sister Kayla, I think, Elder Q, and there was uh, Kamika and Reverend Johnson. Johnson. And, 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 okay, I'm sorry, I didn't see that one up there. I, maybe I, was, I got to that on there. And uh, yesterday, uh, Elder and Sister Q celebrated 50. So that's something for us to strive for. Oh, yeah. right? oh, yeah. We're going to work on it. 
unless you get rid of it before then. But we, we thank God that we uh, we give God the praise for his blessings. Um, I think that uh, I do have one other announcement. On the board, it, it said that we're supposed to be uh, at Freedom's Way on, on the 4th of November. That uh, service has been canceled. Uh, we will make sure that we get with uh, Sister Thomas so that we can take that one off the board and off the calendar. They called it. There's some, some conflict, and so they won't be able to do that service uh, at this time. But we are we're excited about uh, other things that are going on because we do have our annual homecoming that we're going to be able to come back in and try to celebrate it uh, in, our, in our, well, I don't say the normal way, but we're going to bring it back to the point where we have a morning and afternoon service uh, during homecoming time. And so we want to thank God for the committee being willing to work to do what needs to be done. And I did confirm that um, the pastor of Man Hollow Missionary Baptist Church uh, is going to be here and his church family is going to be here. Uh, pastor Dante, Dr. Dante uh, Murphy is going to be here uh, for our homecoming the second Sunday afternoon. And so we're going to have morning service, then we have lunch, and then we have an evening service. And so I'm excited about finally having an evening or uh, afternoon service so we can celebrate together as we celebrate our homecoming. How many years is it? 153? Yes. 153 years. So we're excited about all that God is doing and the progress that he is allowing us to progress and move forward in. I, I believe, I want, I want to take this moment to say thank you to these two young men that have come to the house of the Lord. I, I want to thank you and uh, we are really, really grateful that God has come and we want you to come back as much as the Lord will put it in your heart to come back. Uh, I, I pray, we're going to, we, before we close this service, we're, going to, we're not going to ask them to come up to the altar and all that, we're just going to pray for them. Is that all right? Uh, because, because there are so many, so many things that's going on, and the enemy, and the enemy wants our young black men. He, yeah. he sent out an all point bulletin and assault on our young black men. And, I, and I'm telling you that we have, we have the power to cover this. But we spend too much time having church. To miss out on covering them Amen. in prayer, and you know, you know, and I, I'm definitely not going to reteach this, but but when Ella was talking about why we won't enter into the gates with Thanksgiving, if you don't do it prior to coming to the house, All right. All right. you ain't going to do it when you get to the house. That's why you are answer to a lot of it is because if we don't, if we're not thankful before we come in. We ain't gonna come in here with that. And, and, and I'm, chall I'm challenging myself, and I'm challenging you that we would spend time uh, when we had the house, we walk around in the house, and, and we realize that we got a roof over our head to thank God. Amen. It might not be the thing that everybody else, but I got somewhere I don't have to be living outside. Amen. Ain't gotta be broken to do the trash can to look for something to eat. I ain't got to be standing inside the road looking for a dollar. Yeah. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying no, God has right. been just that good to you. Yeah. 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 And sometimes we take his goodness for granted. Yeah. But I, I, I thank God again for all of you. I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to correct me if I'm wrong. Sister William, uh, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness. Yes. And uh, we do have some ladies that have had that challenge or, or have dealt with breast cancer uh, here in this ministry and other people that we knew, that we know. And uh, Sister Williams uh, wanted to remind us about breast cancer. And uh, so I, I'm, I just wanted to make that enough. Anything you have to share, uh, Sister Williams? I just, um, I have a few little good for everyone today, okay. and I want to let you know that one of the, uh, one of them has a ten dollar Walmart card, okay. and I sort of 
forgot where I put it, but I do want to give you a hint that it's in the middle. <laughs> and I have one for everyone. There's there's a, a gift in the middle. Oh, that, that's, that's even prophetic. Y'all didn't know that. Because there were three thieves that were hanging on the cross. But the most important one was... Okay. God is the thing that I even, even Sister Williams is preaching back there. And it's, in the, it's, it's in the middle. So we thank God again for all of you. Uh, we're going to close now, but we're going to close with prayer. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, well, it wasn't on there, but I'm going to say it. There's going to be a lot of food at Joe's <laughs> celebration. Yes. Because, uh, because he liked to, and I like to eat also. Yes. So there's going to be plenty of food that's going to be there, all right? And so, so in plenty of fellowship. Yes. So one of one reminds you, so don't, don't eat too much when you go so you can help them. They don't have to take it home. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, so again, we want to thank God, and uh, we want to ask that you to stand. Praise team, y'all did an awesome job. Amen. Amen. You did an awesome job. Don't, you don't need a whole bunch to do what God would have you to do. So, Kamika, thank you so much for standing in for the last few Sundays. You did an awesome job. We thank God for Brother King, and we thank you again, too. Ushers who are, are serving so well. Amen. 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 If y'all can hold your position for just one moment, we're going to close in prayer and then we'll move forward from there. Father, I just want to thank you for these two young brothers. Actually, there's five young brothers that's in this house today. Two teenagers, Lord God. Three young adults. All of them are male. And God, we know that the enemy is trying his best to yes, Lord. kill, steal, and to destroy. Yes, Lord. Thank God. I pray that in the name of Jesus that Jesus. these young men will know that they are loved. My yes. God, yes. Yes, Lord. Let them know that, Lord God, that you are on their side. Yes. Yes. And yes. that you are fighting for them. Yes. Even when they can't see you. I thank you that, Lord God, that 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 what the enemy meant for, for evil on their lives. Yes, my God. That, Lord God, that they see the importance yes. of being in the house of God, being around thank people in prayer. Thank you. Thank you. I pray, God, that when they leave this place, yes. that you show them another way. That you let them know that, Lord God, that even when they hit against walls and it seems like if it ain't one thing, it's another. Let them know that, Lord God, that when they call on you, that you will show them yes. what needs to be done. Yes. We speak blessings over them. Yes. That they are blessing going somewhere to happen. Yes, Lord. Heal the hurts in their lives, Lord God. Ah, the disappointments. And the people that told them what they can't be. Jesus. We speak over them to let them know that they can do all things through Christ. Yes. Yes. That strengthens them. Yes. Bless their parents. Yes. Strengthen their families. Yes. And Lord God, I just give you glory and I give you praise, God, that what they're trying to find, let them know that they found it, and that they had it all the time. I honor you, Lord God. I give you praise. And I come against every spirit of anger. Man over everything. But God, in the name of Jesus, break that yoke today. Take away that frustration today. Trying to prove that they are somebody when you already know when they already know and you already declared that they are the head and not the tail. Yes. Above always and not beneath. Yes. So we cover them in prayer, God. And every time the enemy would try to come against them, then Lord God, you show them a way out. Yes. And a way through. Yes. And it's in Jesus' name, that mighty name we do pray. And we count it done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And if they will let you love them, love them.